Dear students, in our previous video we studied about biochemistry and cell structure. We studied different organelles inside the cell. Today we are going to start with Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies are the sac like structures embedded over each other. They perform proper folding of the proteins as well as modification of proteins such as attachment of the carbohydrates, lipids or some other cofactors. So here we have shown a Golgi bodies. A proper folding of the protein is carried out by Golgi bodies like polypeptide chain is taken over by the Golgi bodies. It performs folding and modification of the protein and then to make a functional protein. The next organelle is the vacuole. Large vacuole is present inside the plant cell whereas in animal cell these are the smaller food vacuoles. They perform storage of the water and other food materials. Lysosomes. Lysosomes are the gar garbage collector inside the cell. They are filled with different enzymes like proteases and they break down the cellular debris or harmful compounds inside the cell. An important organelle is the mitochondria inside the cell. It is the powerhouse of the cell which is involved in cellular respiration. It makes ATP which provides energy for different functions of the cell to perform different functions by the cell. Cytoskeleton, it provides proper shape of the cell. These are the thread like filaments, microfilaments or microtubules which are made up of proteins. Here we have shown a structure of microtubules which are hollow inside. Plastids. Chloroplast plasters are the pigments containing bodies inside the cell and the chloroplast is the organelle which contains green pigment called chlorophyll and it performs photosynthesis inside the plant cells. Here we have shown disc like structures which contain chlorophyll inside the chloroplast. So up till now we studied uh, nucleus and its different components then cytoplasm and uh, cell organelles present inside the cytoplasm and our third part of the cell which is common in all type of cells is the cell membrane. So cell membrane is the outer covering of the cell. It contains it is it consists of phospholipid bilayer which contains proteins and uh, some other uh, proteins which are ion channels are acting as a receptors like glycoproteins. There are two different types of proteins embedded inside the cell membrane. These are extrinsic proteins which lie outside of the cell membrane and intrinsic proteins which lie inside are which protrude from both sides of the cell membrane. Like here I have shown an ion channel. It is a protein and uh, through which different ions can be transported and here is a glycoprotein which act like a cell receptor. It, it contains a carbohydrate moiety outside of this protein which is attached. So the phosphate group is the polar group which lies outside whereas the hydrophobic tails of the fatty acids are lie towards the inside of the cell membrane. So here is the phospholipid bilayer. Cell wall. Cell wall is outside of the cell membrane but it is only present in plant cells or bacteria. It is absent in animal cells. So it provides protection and support to the cell. Cilia, there are some unique uh, cells which contain cilia. These are the microscopic hair like projections which are present inside the respiratory cells or respiratory tract. Flagella, flagella is also a unique feature of some specialized cells like it is a tail protruding out like uh, sperm cells contain a tail and uh, in bacteria there are some bacteria which contains flagella. So today we discussed these all these organelles and some important uh, parts of the cell. So thanks.